Hello guys, welcome to the online ITTutors.com. My name is Asif Ali. In this video, I am going to show you how to insert data into database using PHP and MySQL. So this is a blank uh, HTML file, uh, but the file name is inputform.php, and I have already opened this file on the browser. And here you can see it, the PHP and My Admin panel it means database panel available on my screen so I already open this file and this file on the browser right so first step we need to make a input form to get value from users so I write keyword form and then I use input type input type text and then use name name and I write placeholder right and then I use input I use PR tag email and name email and placeholder write uh, the placeholder right but uh, after the closing this input text field I write the PR tag and PR tag I write the another text and uh, country and then I finally we need to write the create the button submit and then uh, value I write the value insert record insert insert that's it and I save this file and open this file on here here you can see the one two three input boxes display on the browser and here you can see the button display strength on the final input box so I use another BR tag to break lineup breakup okay right then the next step we need to do is right click on here to make a connection between PHP and MySQL so I right click it and select control uh, new and I write the file name connection.ph so I write the basic syntax of PHP first after writing basic syntax of PHP then you need to write MySQL connect and parenthesis and terminator you need to pass three parameters first parameter you need to write the local host and second uh, your username third is password my uh, username is root and password is null right then the uh, next step you need to do is write my SQL select underscore DB DB I have select demo because I have made the demo database so I will check it open browser and here you can see it, the demo database available on my PHP and my admin panel then the next step you need to do is right click on here make another file and uh, this file name is new.php so I open the first file input form and use here action new dot php and method post right save the file and open new dot php file and write the basic syntax of php then we will get the value from input text fields so but uh, first you need to include the 
connection file like this on here so I write include it is called once and uh, file name is connection.php then you will be able to use uh, the uh, queries to insert data into database after uh, include this file on here so the first step you need to do is uh, write if statement and write is set function and uh, use dollar underscore post and select the button name for example I open my input form file and here the I use a name of input submit text uh, button so I copy it and go to my new file and paste it. if any person or any user click on the button then come on to below on this brackets and then you need to write the another if statement and uh, you need to check the input boxes are empty or not so you need to write empty keyword and uh, use dollar underscore post and double commas and first input box name I select my name name and paste here after the parenthesis you need to write double and sign and use again parenthesis and again dollar and post then you need to write second input text box name my second input text box name is email so I copy it and paste here after the parenthesis um, second one you need to write the another double add sign and uh, use dollar underscore post and finally you need to write third column name third input text box name my third input text box name is country okay I write the So the next step we need to get value from input text boxes so we need to create variable and first I get name and email and dollar country country right then we need to write another if statement and uh, select the query but I tell you basic uh, way to use my SQL underscore query and uh, use the query here to insert data into database but first we need to create the table into database and uh, uh, we will use to query insert data into database so I open my browser and go to database and demo and I create table my table name is in student and I use three, four columns. First column is primary key identity, and third column is name, email, and country. So I click go. First is ID and name, and then uh, email, and then country. Okay. Chacha, Vacha, and Vacha write the range of input text box fields and then select primary key auto increment uh, okay save okay this is uh, your table name and here columns display on the uh, database 
so the query is you need to write the double commas and write insert into your database uh, your table name my table name is um, student and write values and again parenthesis and double single commas single commas single comma you need to write here the variable so I copy first variable and paste here and uh, second insert into well insert into you need to write the column name sorry then you need to write name comma email comma country here three columns are available on database so I use same name which are used in a database name email country and then I use value keyword then I pass variables which will get value and assign the variables then I pass variable on here right okay that's it but I want to any person click on the button and if data will save on the database then I will show any message so I use if statement and else I use echo please check the query and I pass this complete uh, query here and I use echo sign echo after saving database to display this message your data has been saved into database after saving a uh, database I want to redirect the this page on first page input form so I use header and uh, parenthesis and double commas and I use the refresh colon and uh, time period and then URL and your farm name this is my first farm name so I will read another page so I white terminal sign and then I uh, after this parent skill brackets I write the else command if the all text box or input boxes are empty then you display message please enter the please fill in the blanks right there are very simple process so save the file and open the browser and write the value for example I'll write asif and uh, admin and then I use and I use my country name and I click insert data if the all things are correct then data will save on the database otherwise we will face any error okay so this is the error 170 line where is the 17 here okay I just remove this statement and then I will check again here you can see the uh, your database has saved into database then I open my student database and uh, here you can see it, the ID one name and uh, email and country so uh, but I do not redirect another uh, first page header uh, ref refresh URL and perform dot php fresh okay let's check it again 
I enter another card and enter the card. Okay, that's great. After saving data, I will redirect an input text form fields and then I check the record. Then you can see here two records available on the database tables. For example, I only click on insert uh, button then we will show we have show the uh, input please fill in the input text or uh, blanks and uh, I for example write anything on two input text boxes and I click insert and uh, I will I have show again I have show again the please fill in the blanks so that's very simple process to insert data into database so these are simple way to uh, insert data into database so i hope you are understood as well thank you very much for watching don't forget to subscribe